Hi fellows and welcome back. Today I will demonstrate the count function. The Excel the count function counts matching records in a database using criteria and an optional field. When a field is provided, the count function will only count numeric values in the field. So if you want to use the text, then you can use count A, I mean D count A, but let's talk about this. And the purpose of this function is to count matching records in a database, as I said. So we have a database here where we have put these two rows as a criteria, whereby this is our database where we need to figure out, let's say in this case, the criteria is that find all the Mondays where we have greater than 50 donations. So this is one Monday where we have a donation which is certainly greater than 50. Then the next Monday, we don't have that donation greater than 50. So in this case, the result of this must be counted as 1. So let's see and apply this function and see if it works or not. D count is the syntax and then we will select the table and the table in this case is this table. So we have given a database in this case uh, which actually uh, should be covering everything. So from here till here, or rather I will cover the whole database. So we have selected the database, then we'll give criteria field. So which field should we count? So the field here we would like to count is total. So the total will be the text, and then we need to give a criteria. And the criteria in this case is these two but we must give the headlines as well. Now, in this case, we have the criteria being met. We will close the parentheses and press enter. So it has counted one in the total, which is this the case. If we want to change the numbers, let's say in this case, we had 56. So the count automatically will change here. You can see this has changed to two. So using this criteria that there should be a Monday and it should be greater than 50. We must count the total fields, which were in this case, two of them. There we go. That is the decount function follows that we use to count matching records in a database using the criteria. I hope you enjoyed the video. I look forward to see you in the next video. Meanwhile, have fun. Don't forget to subscribe and comment in the comment section. Have a good day. Bye-bye.